Good morning, students. Today we're going to uh, continue with the same lesson from the previous week, changing variables with B, bar 2. Okay, because this lesson is a little bit longer or long, that's why we completing this lesson this week. Okay, our objective is to modify programs that use variables to, sh to store and modify data. Success criteria number one identify areas where they can use variables to modify quantity quantities during runtime. Examine code to find places where variables can be substituted for specific values. Then in the end create a program using variables, loops, and function. If you remember guys, we was a stop to practice number five. We done from practice one, two, three, four. If you miss any of this one, how we can do this, please watch the previous lesson in week 21. Okay, now the next one is a challenge, but we're gonna keep it till the end. You need to skip it now, then I'm gonna go to number seven, and let's see how we can do number seven together. I'm gonna click start over because I already did before. Okay, let me go and do it now. What is the first thing we need to do here, guys? Here, this is how many here? Is one, three, five, seven. What do you think, guys? How many times increasing? Here, when run to three, it is increasing two. And from here to here is increasing also two from three to five. And it means it's increasing every time by two. Right? Let's see how we can do this one. First, we need to set gather what to one. I'm gonna go to variables, set gather. We're gonna call it gather again. Gather, we do it fast this time. Gather to one. Okay. Set gather one. Okay, then we need now to create the function function do something what we call it collect every uh, lesson you can change the name because here we are collecting something right okay what are you gonna use this time guys loop but see here there is it's all empty there is no something you can stop you okay while there is a bath while there is a bath what why we gonna use this do what means if you have a bath front of you Move forward, okay? Yeah, and when he reach here, the B, automatically it will turn right, automatic. We don't need to, even to put what turn right. Why? Because we use what while there is a bath ahead. Move forward. Let's go to the actions and add what? Move forward. Then, again, now, how many times she need to collect honey here? One is here, here is three. Here, five, here, seven. It means we need to use loop. Okay. How many times? It's different every time, right? It means we need to remove one. Till now, we keep it like this. Then, what are we going to do here? Make honey, right? Until reach there, make honey. Right? Okay. Then, we need, until reach here, what we need to Turn right, action, turn right. Then we need to move forward one step here. At when we don't need to use what? Do we need to use loop? Every time from here to here, there is one move forward. From here to here, one move forward. From here to here, one move forward. It means we're gonna add move forward without loop, right? Then what we need to do after that, we need to repeat to get Nectar, loop, repeat. First it what we make honey, after that she turn right, then get the nectar. Ha, huh, repeat one time guys, or this is wrong. Yes, it's wrong, repeat one time is wrong. Okay, and we are done. But we need to do some math here, right? First we can use the repeat, how many times we are repeating here guys? One, two, three, four. Here, this time is collecting time is three, four times. Then we need to add what here, the function collect. 
Okay, now let's come to the math that we need to use it inside the loop because we need to increase it every time by two that I said in the beginning of this. Okay, we're gonna go where guys? Variables set gather to what? Let's go math raise one, then we're gonna go to variable gather plus two or one guys plus two because it's increasing by two every time right let's try now with this two repeat times here is empty guys we're going to use what the variable that we already give a value and is increasing every time by two then we're going to use the variable here let's try now See guys, there is like radiation in the beginning and this means while there, a bath, while there is a bath, move forward. We didn't give an amount of move forward actually. See, because every time the move forward is not the same. And we are done for number seven. Okay guys. Now let's come to the number six. You keep it till the end because it's a little bit challenge. Okay, guys, it's here the we can see starting with three as an ending with one. Okay, let's see how to do this one. Okay, here we start with one. We start with three. Can we sit gather to to one or three? If we sit gather to three guys here, he have to move forward three times. No, where did it start moving three times? Here, see, from here to here, how many times move forward three times? It means guys, we need to start. We need to start with one, from here. See, have to how many forward from here to here? It's only one move forward, right? But here, how many? And then three forward. I mean we need to sit gather this time here how many sit gather gather we call it gather first okay how many we need to sit gather here three right I mean one sorry one okay then we need to create the function first right let's go to the functions we can call it here collect stairs because these things are on stairs, guys, right? We can call it collect stairs. Okay. Now, you can call it anything you want. Function, you can call it anything you that you have put it in your mind. Okay, guys? Now, first thing, well, what we need to do, we need for sure, as we do every time, we're going to go to loop, repeat, Move this one, we don't need it now. What? For sure to reach to here, move forward. Okay? Then we need to repeat again loop, repeat, remove this one. Then we get what? Nectar, right? Here we need to get connector. Actions get nectar. Then we need to what guys? Turn right, right? Action, turn right. Then we repeat, move forward, use the loop. We need to move forward after that. Action, move forward. After that, we need to repeat to make honey, right? Action. Sorry, loops. Here, remove this one. What? Make honey. Right? After that turn, we are here. Now, she need to turn left, right? Turn left. Why I keep this empty, guys? Look here first. First, we need to create how many times we need to repeat these things, guys. How many patches we have here today? Three. One, two, three. Okay. It means we're going to go to the loops. Repeat. 
three times what collect from actions functions here collect stairs okay and here we set variable what guys one then here need to collect how many three then decreasing to one what we gonna do here guys we can sit gather plus one or minus one or what exactly what do you think there is many thing you can do here guys here it is not increasing here decreasing what are you gonna do let's try many things got first variables we're gonna go here do the math set variables to set variables to math plus one removing one and we get the gather right this is what we did elbows what do you think guys plus one we said gather one here how we plus one we have three here actually how we can do this should be guys yes it's plus one but how we can do this if i plus one in the first one he gonna collect only two let's try it will collect only two if i put gather here right this it will be right no problem let me get the variables set gather and here okay let's see move forward gather he moved forward by one this is right but here get nectar how many three if i'm gonna get gather put it here get nectar three and we have gather how many is one how do we collect three it will collect only one see how we can fix this one what do you think guys we're gonna use math here what are you gonna use guys math see we're gonna get the variables we're gonna go here we're gonna sit gather inside the repeat can do this we can do this no we can use math inside we're gonna take this put it here what guys it will be here what we can call we can call it how we can set this one to collect three here guys we can make it four minus every time because it's decreasing minus what gather see it is the other way around i know this is not easy for everyone okay four minus gather what about the next one down here for repeat one here repeat move forward how many move forward to move here till here it's only one right it mean we're gonna use the variable only gather and we are done now making honey here making honey also three it will be exactly same this one okay we're gonna copy what we did here we're gonna go to the math take this one put it here remove one remove four. if one we get four then minus what minus gather minus gather let's try now guys what i did here is wrong or right wow that's right okay guys i hope you understand what i did here today okay please please give me the feedback about the lesson today on the feedback discussion on week 22 also in the end of the lesson guys when you complete your work you can submit your work by going to take a screenshot of the lesson uh, name here all this part this should be shown in your submission that you already complete the lesson 9 alternate to green that i will know you already complete lesson nine whatever if you didn't complete some of it or there is some mistake or anything if one of them even it's okay just screenshot 
this part showing me that you already complete the old practices turn it to green if you have any listen any question anytime please guys send me in Schoology. thank you see you later